All right, thanks so much, Patrick. This morning, Patrick Kennedy is a married man. The former congressman tied the knot Friday evening with New Jersey school teacher Amy Pettigrew. The ceremony took place at the family's Cape Cod compound. Nika Nuosu was the first television reporter to speak with Kennedy on his wedding day. She has the details now from Hyannis Port. Patrick Kennedy took his family and his future in-laws out on the boat before the big ceremony. Before becoming husband, Patrick Kennedy spent the day playing brother, uncle, and future in-law, taking his family for a sail before saying his I do's. Eyewitness News was the first local TV station to talk to Kennedy before the big ceremony. I'm, I'm the luckiest guys. It's just that she's the best I could have ever imagined, and I'm lucky to be able to share this day with her. Peeking above these trees, a white tent. We're told festivities will take place there on the Kennedy compound, a place filled with fond memories for Patrick and sad ones. The last time there was this kind of attention in Hyannis, Kennedy's father, Ted, had just passed away. I feel like my dad's kind of orchestrating everything from up above, and he's, he's doing a great job so far, and he's telling us, get out on his uh, sailboat and enjoy the ocean like he always did. Tourists also took advantage of the great weather. In fact, one woman we spoke to didn't even realize she was just steps away from a family some consider American royalty. It's coming up here to celebrate a friend's birthday, and uh, we heard a rumor that Patrick Kennedy was getting married. So, and did the groom have cold feet? With warm feet today. I got to keep my shoes on so I don't get sunburned. <laughs> It was a perfect day for a sale and the perfect day for a wedding, and Kennedy believes this great weather is all thanks to his father. He thinks it was just his father's way of giving his blessings from heaven. For The Roadshow, I'm Neka Nuosu.